Welcome to the homework for second grade, module one. This is lesson one. Write your name first. <coughs> and what we're doing is we're just adding and subtracting and completing number bonds for each set. So here's number one. And number bonds are just like you might have known them as fact families, where we have, it's just a reminder here, that's a total and these are two parts that go together there and there to make the total so these two are always smaller because they're add-ins they're the parts and this is the whole thing or the total so it's always the largest number and here's just a fact family different ways to look at the numbers in a number bond 9 plus 1 equals, here it is, what's the total? 9 and 1, those are the add-ins, our total is 10. And it's the same if you switch the order of the add-ins, have the 1 first and then the 9, it's still 10, it's still 9 and 1 and 1 and 9. And then you can also look at this, you can also use subtraction for this because we have the total, and if you have the total without the 1 here, if you take away the 1, you have 9 left. And here, if you take away the 9, you're going to have the other part left. You're going to have the 1. And that's it. And now we've got the second number bond we have over here. We've got a different fact family to look at. We have to fill in the numbers for this number bond. But we can see right here what the add-ins are. It's 8 and 2. So that the 8 and the 2 go here, this is going to be the total of 8 and 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. It's one of the ways to make 10. You have to know those. 8 plus 2 is 10. If 8 plus 2 is 10, then 2 plus 8 is also 10. And if I start with a total of 10 and I don't have the 2, the 8 would be left. And if I don't have the 8, then the 2 would be left. Because it takes both parts to make the total. And now we have to draw the number bond. So now we have to draw the circles for our number bond, too. A lot of the number bonds we saw in first grade were squares. We had, you know, I'll draw an example over here. We had the big square for the big number, right? That was always the total. And then we had two smaller squares. This is the same exact number bond. It's just with circles instead of squares. And if you want to draw a bigger circle for the total, you can. It helps you re remind you that the larger number is there in the larger box or larger circle. Go ahead and do that. So these are you're going to see a lot of ways to make 10 here because we're just going to practice it a lot because it's really really important. If you don't already have it, you got to get you got to get it. So 6 plus 4, the 6 and 4 are our add-ins. And our total is going to be 10. If 6 plus 4 is 10, certainly 4 plus 6 is 10. And then 10 here without the 4, I need, there'll be 6 left. And 10 without the 6, there's going to be 4 left. And here we have our add-ins, 3 and 7. 3 and 7, and 3 plus 7 is 10. 10. If you don't already know it, you can use your fingers to count it up. Start with the 7 first, and then count up to 3. If you're going to count up, you have to use your fingers. You start with the big number first. That way you're only counting up the smaller number. 3 plus 7 is 10. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 without the 7. If I have the 10, and I take away the 7, well, I'm going to have the other part left, which is the 3. And if I take away the 3, then I'll have the other part left, which is the 7. Now the rest of them, we're just solving these. So we're not, we don't have to draw number bonds for all of these. These are just some number sentences. Now they all start with totals of 10. These are equal signs. Not addition or subtraction, those are equal signs. So we're starting with the total. So how do you make 10? What do you need to add to 7 to make 10? You need 3 more. We just did that one. And then same thing from that same number bond we just did. That's a 7. 
So 10 is 5 plus, well, how much more do I, what do I have to add to 5 to make 10? I need 5 and 5. 2 needs how many more to, to make 10? You need to count up 8 more from 2 to get to 10. And we have some more here, all starting with a total of 10. 2 and 8, 6 and 4, 4 and 6, 9 and 1. Practice those ways to make 10 if you don't have them. You have to know them like you know your name.